Hello and welcome to this video on eating well for the over 65 age group. So I'm Ellen Roach, a registered dietitian. And I'm Jennifer Bay, chef with the School of Food here in Thomastown. And so today we'll be cooking a delicious, nutritious, healthy soup. And I'll be discussing some uh, practical tips that you can apply to help you eat healthier um, during these uh, times. This video is brought to you in collaboration with Healthy Ireland. Um, Healthy uh, Ireland at your local library, Kilkenny Library and Kilkenny County Council and um, this initiative is um, through the Keep Well campaign which encourages you to, um, to look after your physical and mental health through eating well, looking after your diet and lifestyle and uh, incorporating regular exercise into your, your daily living. Um, so the Kilkenny Library, um, there is eight branches and due to current restrictions of COVID-19 they are closed but there is a service for the over 65s for home delivery um, at a local level and also they have a quite a, a range uh, of books for specifically looking at um, healthy living, um, healthy cookbooks and healthy nutrition books that you can avail of and there's also um, a selection of e-books and e-audio books that you can avail of online so certainly check out kilkennylibrary.ie um, and their Facebook pages um, they also have a number of um, events such as these webinars and videos um, so do keep a check on their Facebook page for that so shall we start? We'll get cracking. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just tie my hair back before we start cooking. So yeah, the plan today is to do a lovely roast vegetable soup, and the, what we're myself and um, Ellen have come up together with this recipe that will incorporate just a little bit more protein, a little bit more of a healthy kick from just boiling vegetables, and you know we've chosen very carefully what goes into it, but it's a tasty soup. It's a lovely one to enjoy and. Um, you can either leave it chunky or you can um, blend it and we'll talk as we go along as to what other things that we could do with this recipe to just make it a little bit more versatile. So I have my pan heating here um, and we're going to start off with the leeks and I'll just chop them up. Obviously with the soup, um, the finer you chop everything, the quicker it's going to cook. So like this could be a kind of a fast food recipe even though it's a good recipe. So we're going to chop everything as finely as we can and um, you've got um, lovely fresh vegetables to use with it. We've, um, with spring, what's the, the, the shopping Silver company? Spring. Silver yeah. Spring, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, really good healthy veg and lovely and fresh. So we're going right down to the end of the leek here. I've already washed this um, and in terms of washing leeks I always slice from the top down and rinse in in water rinse it down because you don't want the any grit or dirt that can be on the green part going right back up to the white part so we're going in with some olive oil always heat your pan before you add your oil because you don't um, you lose the benefits of putting it into a cold pan there's no point putting it into a cold pan at all so in we go with all our leek. The pan is lovely and hot. I'm just going to stir that around and pop the lid back on while we prepare the rest of the veg. So we're going to have carrot in it as well. Here's my little peeler. There we go. You don't have to peel the carrot. Just wash it well if you prefer. I always peel carrots. I think what we see our mammies doing, we tend to ourselves and we've always peeled carrots but um, there's absolutely no harm in more fiber in the skin yeah, so if you yeah, wash yeah. it well and leave it, or if you're lazy like me just <laughs> chop it up <laughs> so we chop that up nice and fine as well so that it cooks quickly there we go We also, um, this recipe, a kind of the most unusual ingredients would be our lentils. Lentils give you a good kick of protein, which sometimes when you eat a bowl of soup, you find this makes sense, I'm sure, Ellen. If you eat a bowl of soup that's just full of vegetables, it, it's lovely for an hour or two, but you might still feel hungry within an hour or so, and it's probably because you haven't packed in 
the protein element. The protein will keep you um, feeling satisfied for longer. It's really slow releasing. They take quite a long time to digest because of the starch that's in there. Ah, okay. uh, and the fiber there as well it makes it really slow releasing as regards that energy. So it keeps you going for a bit longer. And yeah. so the protein helps the fullness as well. It's quite amazing, little small little things mm, like that. There. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So I'm chopping up our potatoes. I kept the skin on the potatoes. I always do that in a vegetable soup, whether I'm roasting it or um, doing it on the hob like this. Um, they just, it, it adds a lovely texture, but a lovely flavor as well. And you're just keeping all those healthy benefits within the potato. So I give this a little stir. The idea of cooking it this way is to layer up the flavors and to make sure that we get flavor developing before we add in the water. Uh, really, the vast majority of the flavor is in it before we add water. So we want to cook this to a stage where the veg is getting nice and soft and we're getting a bit of color on it as well. So that's that bit. And then we're going to add in a nice sprig of fresh thyme. I'm not going to take it off the stalk. I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to chop up some parsley as well. But these fresh herbs really do pack a punch in terms of healthy benefits. I'm leaving the stalks on the parsley as well. You can kind of get away with the multitude when you're making a soup mm -hmm. because, you know, we might not serve that on a main course dish, the stalks of the parsley, because they wouldn't look pretty and they're not nice to eat. Just a, a stalk, it can be quite harsh. But to chuck in the stalks in a soup because we're going to blend it, it's no bother whatsoever. And it, um, adds a lot of flavor makes such a difference isn't it yeah herbs, definitely yeah. and we're going to put in our garlic as well here so just one clove of garlic but again the benefits of garlic are huge aren't they like yes yeah, seemingly some research helping with blood pressure and helping lower cholesterol levels um okay. for sure yeah there is some belief that it helps with common cold we're just not too sure about that in terms of the immune the immune benefit of it yeah and it's one of those ingredients that you can just um, pack it like say you're cooking for the family or whatever if somebody says to you they don't like garlic fair enough but you can hide it all the time because if you yeah. roast it it goes yeah. lovely and sweet it's yeah. a really cracking ingredient to have so I'm going to pop in our lentils now as well in with everything heating up the reason why we put them in now, sometimes people would say just to boil them in water, but I like to add them in while the veg is cooking because they'll take on some of that flavor and start to develop. Make sure that they're washed well, like with rice, when you're washing before you use them. Mm -hmm. Wash them really, really well until the water starts to run clear from them. Um, but that's just two tablespoons gone in, and the difference that that will make to the... Um, texture of the soup you'll be amazed how much they'll actually puff up we'll pop the lid back on there keep it going for another few minutes and then we'll add in our turmeric and our stock um, generally we would use a low socks stock the low salt stock cube in this recipe um, just to again for the health benefits so with the stock cube, yeah, we find that one in four adults are sensitive to the, the salt and it can really drive up their blood pressure Ooh. significantly. Yeah, yeah. So good joke. We don't mm -hmm. want that happening. So we'll and especially with go. the stock cube, sorry, and the turmeric. One of my absolute favorite things to use, like I hide turmeric in practically mm -hmm. everything that I cook because the health benefits are incredible from it. Now, it might seem a little bit odd to you that I put the stock cube in there now. I always cook the stock cubes. Um, it helps develop flavor. Uh, like those little portions are so full of flavor, but it has to develop. So if you put it in as you're cooking and sauteing your vegetables and allow that flavor to mm. start to develop, it's creating a lovely base for your soup or any dish that you're cooking. So once that's softened down and we see kind of nearly that it's all starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, don't panic at that stage because that's what we want, that's development flavour. And then we'll put in our water and let it cook away. Mm. So um, it should be nearly there now. 
give it another stir. As you can see, it's starting to stick along the bottom there, which, and I can smell, can you see it there? Yep, that looks, yep. Um, and that turmeric as well gives it such a lovely color, but that's not the only benefit from it. It's, um, it's a super, super ingredient. And if you're making healthy choices, healthy living, this is one of the ingredients that definitely you should consider adding to your diet. So now that's all starting to stick a little bit. It's nice and soft. So I'm going in with a litre of water. Really until everything is covered quite well. The lentils will puff up, as I said, the more they cook. So you might need to add another little drop if you feel that it's too thick. It depends yourself. It's very much a preference as to whether you like a thick soup or a thinner soup. So the litre of water will give you quite a thick soup. So we'll pop the lid back on that and let it cook away. And while we're doing that, we can go over, I suppose, each ingredient mm. and how it's benefiting you. I'm just going to pop this on to boil. There we go. So that's ready to go ahead. Yeah. So if we go over yeah, sure. those few ingredients with you. So um, first we have the oil, oil wasn't it? First, the, first, yeah, the yeah. olive oil. Yeah, so olive oil we certainly know is a really, really healthy type of fat. Um, some of us are scared when they hear the word fat and it does certainly a number of different types of fat. There is yes. there's yeah. um, healthy fat and there's less healthy fat. So the um, type of fat in olive oil is essentially called monounsaturated fat. And that's the type of fat that is really good for our, our hearts. It keeps, mm -hmm. the, um, keeps our cholesterol low. It actually okay. brings down the bad cholesterol and brings up the good cholesterol. So it keeps right. the blood vessels very healthy. Yeah. Um, uh, reduce incidence of things like st stroke and heart disease and heart okay. attacks. You know, so really, so really powerful. Using your bit of olive yeah. oil is better for you than using than using spray oil. oil yes, spray yeah. yes, those spray oils as yeah. well tend to be marketed as a health food, but really, it's not going to give you the same benefit as a tablespoon of um, no. olive oil in. Like this is serving two healthy sized portions, so you know, absolutely, 10 grams of absolutely, olive it's very oil little. Not, yeah. yeah, so the, yeah. the Mediterranean diet, which is the basis for general healthy eating and also mm. for particularly um, the over 65s, anti aging and yes. keeping the, the brain really healthy, mm. um, it's really nourishing those those brain cells and the brain okay. nerve, the nerve tissue in the and brain. And joints and that. And the, very, our joints, very, our yeah. skin, our yeah. hair moisturizing yeah. those, yeah. Keeping, our su keeping us supple and, um, and for mood as well. So, yeah. nourishing absolutely. us from head to toe. Yeah. So, we yeah. need to use yeah. more yeah. olive oil. If think yeah. about the, the traditional Mediterranean diet uses a couple of tablespoons at least every day of every olive day. oil. So I okay. find we're not using okay. enough. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. And we're just yeah. too scared of it. So we need yeah. to try to incorporate that in terms okay. of our like our lunch like that or part of a salad included there or for stir exactly. frying vegetables or roasting vegetables. It's the same fine goes, to I use. Think, for proper butter or you know our mm. Irish butter. We're famous all over the world for our butter, but then yes. people think it's not so healthy and maybe we'll use a spread instead, a low fat spread. I would avoid them like the plague and just use a smaller amount. A smaller of amount. Butter. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Our yeah. olive based yeah. butter either is quite good. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, in relation to the other oils, then the likes of rapeseed oil is quite good also. Yes. And um, it's yeah. quite similar yeah. um, properties. It's and similar and monounsaturated. Okay. So yeah. Fat Perfect. in there as well. So that's another good one. And that's yeah. available locally as well. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Lots yeah. of good Irish oils there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's um, really good. And we have the. Um, so then we moved on to our leeks and carrots. Yeah. So the yeah. Vitamin C and carrots, aren't they? Vitamin C and vitamin yeah. A, which are really important okay. for immune function. At okay. the moment in and COVID moment times, we, we need yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, and make sure we get adequate vitamin A, C, E, and D are the main ones okay. for our vitamin immune function. Vitamin D is quite difficult to get from diet, isn't it? Yeah, so, so that's the one I would say we'll yeah. get some from eggs and we'll get some from oily fish. Okay. But really, the okay. average person won't get near enough at all. So it's okay. the one um, a supplement, supplement we do recommend yeah. for everyone yeah. throughout the winter months, definitely. And for older adults, potentially mm -hmm. during the summer months as well, um, because um, we get it from the sunshine during the summer. And it's activating yeah. our skin, but we know older adults aren't as well at a good at activating in their skin as maybe younger okay. adults. So, okay. so and a lot of us are wearing sunscreen as well, protecting yes. ourselves from skin yeah. cancer. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. so, so it may be worthwhile hard. continuing during the summer months as well, okay. um, for especially for older adults. And is it true you know? that vitamin D you should? Um, 
if you're taking a supplement to take it with a little bit of fat as well yes. to help absorb it absolutely so if you're taking your vitamin d perhaps take it with your soup or yes with your food just yeah. don't just take it in the morning with a glass of water you'll double the absorption it. yeah so just to absorb it better and make sure that you're mm. taking it with food yeah and if we were to look at the food side of things to get vitamin d into this this type of soup, when, when we blend it, you could use that as a base for, say, a lovely chowder that mm. you could add in. When it's cooked, you could add in your fish and then a tiny drop of cream at the end or sour cream or creme fraiche mm. or something mm -hmm. like that. And then you can, you're aiming at getting it through your diet. Yes, as well, in combination. So, yeah. yeah. So, so important for vitamin, vitamin D is important for our bones, our teeth. Okay. Um, and it's also important for muscle health, which is important right. for older adults. You know, you yeah, want to hold absolutely. on to the muscle that we do have. It keeps yeah. us strong and prevents becoming frail, keeps our independence, okay. prevents falls, you know, for strong. Yeah. So yeah. keeping yeah. strong muscles and also for immune function. So okay. um, there was a lot of talk about COVID and mm. vitamin D. So it won't prevent you getting COVID. No, um, but it, you're but putting the best foot forward. Exactly, exactly. To help your immune system to function yeah. as best it can. So um, quite important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then we had the, the leeks, um, mm. in terms of the leeks, part of the onion family, yes. aren't they? So yeah. um, in terms of health that way, I suppose so. if, if you can buy organic, all the best, but you know, we've got really good produce in Ireland, whether it's organic yeah. or not, it tends to be really, really good. And just um, washing it well yeah. is so important washing, then. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. like the likes of the leeks, the, those kind of foods, onions, garlic, and mm. they're really, um, they're called prebiotics. So they feed okay. the beneficial bacteria in our intestines. Okay. So we have trillions of bacteria in our, in our large intestine. Mm. And the role of that bacteria is to communicate with our immune system. Okay. It um, is involved in producing the happy hormone serotonin, keeps okay. them good, good form. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's important um, in terms of B vitamins, energy production, uh, clotting of blood. It's in quite a lot of things, so it's okay. good bacteria. So eating the likes of onions, garlic, regular leeks, mm -hmm. um, bananas and other foods as well like that, they're all okay. really good for keeping, for feeding those good bacteria. Um, so yeah. definitely try yeah. to include yeah. something like that so every day. Because we hear so much about probiotics all the time now and mm. quite expensive supplements as well. And you feel, oh my God, I'm not doing anything if I don't. But, but really predominantly the diet should be able to provide everything that we need and a yeah. supplement is only kind of if if there's a weakness of something isn't working yes. right but to, to give yourself the best start by the likes of this some very very simple soup but like as we're going through it it is quite amazing what the, yeah. the healthy benefits yeah. of it um know? so for for good health and like the likes of those fruit and veg obviously mm -hmm. help us keep our healthy blood pressure Mm -hmm. and healthy cholesterol, they bind cholesterol in the intestines. Yeah. Um, they're doing quite a lot of things and giving us yeah. energy as well. Yeah. So uh, for good health, we look at actually each meal, trying to include at least two portions of, of veg or salad at okay. each meal. So um, for the likes of say a main meal, you're looking at half the plate of veg. So that mm -hmm. will be actually two portions of veg there. Okay. So the current recommendations are five to seven portions of fruit and veg in combination day. per day for okay. good health. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be five and in the last year or two they increased it up to seven up to per seven. day okay. because there's actually added benefits in terms of um, heart mm -hmm. health and cancer prevention by increasing yeah. up from five to seven. Okay. So Perfect. in Ireland the over 65s um, men have an average about three portions per day of fruit and okay. veg Mine and now. women have four. We're a little bit better. The okay. ladies are a little bit better with okay. four per day. So, so we're trying to get at least to five. Yeah. <laughs> and ideally you know six or seven if we can per day. So that could yeah. be say this would be two portions that we two our veg okay. soup would probably have at least two portions in that bowl yeah. wouldn't it? at least yeah yeah um and then maybe a, a portion to fruit in the day as well okay. so perfect more and when you break it down like that it makes it sound doable yeah. for some people especially if you're not a fan of fresh veg it can be daunting to think seven portions a day my god but when you break it down you know that, that that's very doable and good to kind of especially nowadays to try and keep that healthy living healthy lifestyle and keep our immune our whole immune system up because i think that's something that's been completely forgotten about in the pandemic that we all have an immune system we've all mm -hmm. got that initial fight and to just give that the best chance do yes. you know um now we'll move on to our turmeric which is as i said yeah. one of my favorite there's been massive study done on turmeric and the healthy benefits of it and um i know nuig have done huge research on it that is um, for esophageal cancer, it can actually um, break down cancer cells. Um, it, it's hugely beneficial um, 
a spice it's herb yeah, yeah it's, a, it's spice, a spice isn't yeah, it yeah, yeah it's a spice yeah. isn't it so um, in terms of reducing inflammation for sure yeah beneficial yeah a lot of the research though is, is in like is in the lab so yes. in terms of animal research they haven't done as much in terms of adult human research um, yeah there's a lot yeah. more uh, scope by there i guess um for that but certainly good for flavor and good for Absolutely. reducing inflammation in the yeah, body and so inflammation and circulation i think it yeah helps it as yeah well, doesn't it Absolutely. yeah so um Fantastic, and our natural parsley and thyme as well are going to add. So this Flavor, whole yeah. bowl of soup is just going to, you'll be laughing over the moon after you have a bowl. <laughs> a lot of antioxidants in the, the herbs, so they're brilliant. Even dried herbs also have quite a lot of antioxidants, yes. so it's a strong pungent and flavor. And we did say that on the recipe mm. that you can use, um, you can use uh, dried herbs in it if you prefer. They're handier, I know, because herbs can go off quite quickly. But if you actually wash them when you get them and place them on a bit of kitchen towel and in a freezer bag in the fridge, they'll keep for a couple of weeks easily. Time mm. is brilliant. Time will keep for a long time. But the parsley might go a little bit sad after a couple of days. But that's a way to keep it nice and fresh in the, the fridge. tubes, what do you think of those, Jennifer? The tubes of um, Not mad about them because there are preservatives in mm. them. So I would say if you're buying the ready, you know, the tubes of herbs, I mean, it's better to have herbs than not. Mm. But it depends on what they're preserved in because there will be a preservative mm. in that. So it might be just olive oil and thyme or olive oil and parsley. Brilliant, that's fine. But just have a little read of the label and see mm. what's in it because there's an awful lot of hidden stuff um, and that's what's lovely as well with the soup like this you know when you see all the goodness that goes into it and it, it takes minutes to prepare mm. and you have it there in the fridge it will keep once we cool it down it will keep in the fridge for two days i would say lentils i would be a little bit careful of i wouldn't keep them any longer than two days mm. in the fridge and just heat up per portion don't heat up the whole thing and cool it down again so mm. you look at reheating only once um but yeah it would keep in the fridge for you no problem at all i'll just have a little look now and see how our veg is doing and as we were saying to use your libraries and use that support that's there at the moment because mm. everybody's more than happy to oblige and it's lovely to keep in touch with kilkenny library and all the work that they're doing at the moment um let me just check. Yeah, we're nearly there. Yeah, our potatoes are nice and soft. We'll give it another two minutes, I would say. Because, yeah, there's such a wealth of information out there at the moment, isn't there, that you really... There's so many really good books. Quite yeah, and, and there's a lot of misinformation out there as yeah, well, isn't yeah, there, especially yeah, online. Yeah, and that's yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, to know. Yeah. Good. A competition, I think, as well, between people of, are you taking this, are you taking that, are you taking the other, like, all these... Um, supplements that are pushed at us, but mm. really, it's vitamin D is the main thing. The main one, it? yes. So there can be other indications as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. To unless you advise to the likes yeah, of iron, folic yeah. acid, etc., B12. Mm. Yeah. Unless you advise to by your yeah, health professional, yeah, there shouldn't yeah. be any need to. If you've got a yeah. well-balanced diet and eating lots of variety of foods, there shouldn't yeah. be any need. Yeah. Is it true mm. that every veg, uh, uh, every color represents different her or different vitamins? Um, so the more colour you can pack into the your color. diet, the better. Yeah, so think yeah. of the rainbow. Okay. The purples, okay. the blacks, <laughs> the yeah. darks, the greens, yeah. and the reds, oranges, yellows. So they all have different nutrients. Um, like, the, for example, the vitamin A more so in the orangey ones, you know, okay. for example, you know. So peppers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and the likes of, say, the, the likes of the aubergine or the likes of plums, you know, they have more, mm. more iron in them, for example, you know. Okay. So, so you've a couple of examples here for protein bases. Um, so we brought along some of these. I suppose um, during the pandemic, I suppose a lot of older adults find that they can't get out as much or as frequently mm. to the supermarket yeah. as they want. So trying to, you know, stay at mm. home as much Absolutely. as possible and follow the yeah, guidelines. So, um, so yeah, I always yeah. say, look, at, these can be helpful during the likes of, say, pandemic or, for example, some of the older adults who maybe have mobility issues can't get out as often. Mm -hmm. These can be helpful in terms of boosting their, their protein intake and making yeah. nutrition um, meal more nutritionally balanced. So, for example, say vegetable soup is super healthy, yeah. but they do need to make sure they get enough protein in there. So. Uh, Absolutely. Using yeah, some of these yeah. can be convenient. Making sure you're draining off obviously all the the salty all the water off. It is important. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so about half a tin will be a portion. Chilies, yeah. So water, salt. So there is salt in it. So as Ellen was saying, make sure to rinse them really rinse well and well. get that salt off. But if you didn't want to put the lentils into the soup here, you could substitute with this tin of chickpeas. It will give the same kind of texture. Oh yeah. But it'll give yeah. a lovely 
butter yeah, beans. Boosted yep. protein, and you will feel nice and full after having it. Or a duty beans, beans, any of those are really yeah. excellent. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, other types yeah. of lentils as well. So yeah. all those are really good. Or you could mm. use maybe some leftover chicken into it either. Yeah. You yeah. know, if you It'd have lovely, really, some really, nice, yeah. really good for yeah, flavour as well. It would be a lovely stew, actually, if you pop in mm. some chicken at the end and don't blend it. That'd yeah. be really nice. It'd be a lovely lunch to have. So I think we're nearly ready now to give this a little whiz up. I'm going to take out that <coughs> string of thyme before I blend it. Move this to the side. And we'll blend it up. These stick blenders are so, so handy. If okay. you don't have one, it's not the end of the world because it's a lovely chunky soup to have anyway. You can really see in it the benefit of that turmeric because it's given it that lovely golden colour. <clears throat> Cinnamon is another thing, isn't it, for circulation and blood pressure and all those things. That and blood sugar levels, lovely. actually, yeah. What's that? Blood sugar levels? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so. Goes in porridge, yeah. The longer, the longer we blend this, the creamier the texture it takes on, that it will actually feel like you've put cream into it, but we haven't. Mm -hmm. um, but the longer we blend it, it will give it that lovely texture and body. So there we go, that's our soup. over our lovely bowl so you can see there there's at least two portions within that um, and as I said you can pop it once it's cool in the fridge and just take out whatever portion you want of it and reheat it it will freeze as well how long would it freeze for Jennifer do you recommend? I would say a month I a wouldn't month, go yeah. more than a month on it so there we go, and we'll pop a lovely bit of fresh parsley on top. And that's our lovely healthy um, vegetable soup, leek okay. and potato soup. So lovely serve with some soda bread, some brown soda that bread, is, or a yeah, yeah, little bread. And, of, um, and some mixed seeds through it as well. So um, the mixed seeds will again help with your yes. protein intake and healthy just add whatever you can to just add that little bit of the a fiber kick. and yeah. it's fullness as well at the meal yeah, isn't it yeah yeah, yeah absolutely it's fabulous so okay. we hope you've enjoyed the demonstration and the chat and um hopefully we'll we'll do a few more um please god over the next um, yeah. while and stay safe and stay well and remember to use your library and keep using those resources that are available to you and there's also some resources on healthyireland.ie the yeah. irish nutrition and dietetic institute is a good one as well yeah. and um there's also a really good book as well 101 square meals if you just okay. google 101 square meals is yeah. the book there's, um, there's really good recipes as well, as well. Mm -hmm. so thanks very much folks. thank you